Welcome to Basic Resume Writing. This presentation is designed to help you understand the basics of resume writing. A resume is a brief written account of personal, educational, and professional qualifications and experience that is prepared by an applicant for a job. The purpose of a resume is to get a first impression of your skills and to sell your skills and abilities to a potential employer. The main purpose of a resume, however, is to get an interview so you can further explain your skills and abilities and why you would be a perfect match for the intended position. Sometimes it is important to understand the what not to do's before starting. Take a few minutes following this presentation to watch the YouTube video, Resume Writing Basics with David Hay. There are certain components of a resume that are universal. These include your name and contact information, skills, work experience, and education. Let's take a look at each of these components individually. The contact information should include your name, email address, and phone number. If you have an electronic professional profile or web page, this is a great place to include the link or a link to your LinkedIn profile. It is no longer necessary to include your address in this section. It is important to make sure your email address is professional. Generally, your name or part of your name would suffice, such as Jane Doe at email.com. Skills are an important part of modern resumes. The job postings is a great place to start to finding out the skills that are important to the position in which you are applying. You may be asking yourself, what are your skills? What should I list? This slide gives you a good understanding of different types of skills that, you, that may be included on a resume based on the job you are seeking. General skills are those that are likely to be important for many positions, such as communication, customer service, professional, management, financial knowledge, and leadership. Similarly, soft skills are skills that apply to every job, such as interpersonal skills, communication, problem solving, working well with team members. These are also the skills that most employers are looking for in a good employee, as it is hard to train someone to have these skills. Hard skills are qualifications required for positions, such as specific computer skills, administrative skills, or technical skills. Transferable skills are those that you, that you use most for jobs that can be carried over from one job to the next. Hybrid skills are a combination of soft and hard skills. Lastly, a good read to help you better in, understand skills for a resume is the best job skills to list on a resume by The Balanced Careers. A link to this article, article is located on this slide. The experience section of your resume would include full and part-time work, apprenticeships, self-employment, volunteer work, practicum internships, and cooperative education or work training programs. For each position that you are including on your resume, write out the following. Write the job title, company, dates you worked, and location. List your key responsibilities, focusing on accomplishments and achievements. Use labor information to help you craft your work tasks, such as the ONET. Be concise. Use specific accomplishment statements. Using onetonline.org can be a great assistance in helping you word job duties or tasks from current and past positions. Look at this example for bank teller. The ONET lists tasks as defined by the Department of Labor for this type of position. The ONET also has sections for skills, work abilities, technology, and knowledge for each Department of Labor job title in its database, which can be very helpful when formulating thoughts and language for your resume. It is recommended that you use action words when describing your experience and accomplishments. You want to demonstrate the actions you have completed in past positions. This slide gives you a sample list of common action words you might find on a resume.
While you may have one or two basic resume templates written, it is important to tailor your resume to specific positions in which you are applying. Tailoring your resume helps the screener see why you are a good fit for the job. To do this, identify what is most important to the company. What responsibilities do they mention first? What specific qualifications are listed or required? Match your content to the job description. Revise and reorder your accomplishments by the key elements of the job postings. Use word cloud programs to help you identify keywords and most utilized words. Using word clouds. Using word cloud sites such as tagcrowd.com allows you to paste the job description, then visualize the words that are repeated the most, thus helping you identify those key components of a job description. You can then use those words that are most prominent in the job posting and tailor your skills and knowledge to demonstrate your experience with those needed skills. Take a look at the example on the screen. You will see the bolder and bigger words that were listed more often in the job description. These are the words you would want to highlight in your task and your accomplishment statements. The education section is designed to showcase your formal training. This section should include degrees obtained in schools you attended, your GPA if you are a current student or graduated within the last one to two years, include honors or awards you have received while in school. You can also include any extracurricular activities in which you may have held a leadership role, Include professional development courses, certifications, or licenses relevant to the positions unless you have a separate section for this information. Consider the content of your resume. These are the do's and don'ts of a resume. Proofread, proofread, proofread. When I worked as a hiring manager, if I received a resume with spelling or grammatical errors, no matter how promising the candidate looked, the resume did not lead to an interview. Limit experience to 10 years unless there is significant experience that relates to the current position. As mentioned earlier, it is not necessary to include your address on a resume. It is not necessary to include an objective. It is more useful to include a summary section with your highlighted achievements and skills that fit the job posted. For mature workers, leave off education dates if older than 15 years. Watch for things that may give your age and highlight new skills or technologies you have learned. For veterans, translate military skills to civilian language. Demonstrate soft skills and any hard skills that might translate to the job you are seeking. Now that you have a good idea of the content in a resume, let's talk about the different types of resumes. There are three main types of resumes. Chronological, list your work history starting with the most recent, followed by other positions listed chronologically. Functional resumes, focus on your skills, attributes, and experience rather than a chronological history of your work. And three, a combination hybrid is a mix of chronological and functional. Some of the benefits of a chronological resume is it is the most traditional resume type. It is the most widely accepted. Employers tend to prefer because it is easy to see your work history. It is of good use if you have a solid, consistent work history and if your career shows a career growth in a field. Functional resumes have their benefits as well. They emphasize your skills, they're good for those who have gaps in their work history, career changes, or frequent job changes. They can de-emphasize any downward regression in your career history, and they emphasize transferable skills. Similarly, there are benefits of using combination or hybrid style resumes as well. These are becoming more popular. They combine the skills and work history. They highlight accomplishments. They are flexible in their structure and is a good format for students or new graduates or individuals with limited work experience or who have only entry level work experience. 
When choosing the right resume format for you, it is important to think about the job posting, your skills, experience, and career trajectory. Take some time after this presentation to visit YouTube and watch the video entitled Choosing the Right Resume Format from gcflearnfree.org. Now that you are ready to start writing your resume, here are a few additional tips and resources. You can write your resume using publishing software such as Microsoft Word or WordPerfect. You can use free templates. Microsoft Word offers several free templates. You can also use a resume builder such as the one through NCWorks or GotResumeBuilder.com. Beware of sites that tell you they have free resume writing, and once you create your resume, they charge you to download it or publish it. There is no need to use this when there are free tools available. Before writing, determine which format is most appropriate to use. Study the job posting and be sure to tailor your resume to the job. You may have a basic example to work from, then tailor your resume as you go. Use action words, achievement statements, and be sure to watch your tenses. Use present for current jobs and past tense for past employment. And I can't stress this enough. Proofread, proofread, proofread. It's a good idea to have a couple of people proofread your resume before you submit it. This slide provides you with a few additional resources that you might find helpful. Take some time to read these articles prior to writing your resume. For additional assistance, please note that there are career advisors at your local NCWorks office that are ready to assist you.